Something unusual is unfolding deep inside Samsung's development cycle right now, something that has quietly caught the attention of tech insiders, software analysts, and even long-time Samsung users who have been tracking One UI updates for years. Because for the first time in a long time, the company's internal software ecosystem is showing signs of a shift, a serious acceleration, a major realignment, and a surprising amount of hidden activity pointing directly toward the arrival of One UI 8.5. And before we begin, here's a quick reminder delivered in the most natural way possible before watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to Tech Insights so that you get notified on daily tech updates. Now let's dive into what is shaping up to be one of Samsung's most controversial mid-cycle updates ever. Usually One UI 5 updates are small tuning releases meant to polish animations and add minor improvements, but One UI 8.5 is different. This time Samsung appears to be preparing far bigger changes. Changes typically reserved for major versions like One UI Nantino. At the heart of this development lies a new interaction engine known internally as Neo Touch Core, a complete rebuild of how animations, gestures, and transitions respond to the user. Early internal testers claim scrolling feels lighter, swipe motions react instantly, and every bounce fade, and transition now flows like liquid instead of frame, by frame movement. This is because Samsung is integrating a new dynamic frame system that adjusts animation speed in real time depending on CPU pressure, app load, and environmental conditions. Instead of the phone forcing animations, it adapts like an intelligent system, which means mid-range devices will feel smoother automatically without relying on raw hardware. But this is just the start. Samsung is working on something called Adaptive Space UI, a redesign that subtly shifts UI density spacing and button size based on hand movements and grip patterns registered by the touch sensor. If the device detects one-handed usage, buttons become larger and easier to reach. If the device is used with two hands, the UI becomes more compact to reveal more content. This feature could become one of the biggest quality of life improvements one UI has received in years. Moving deeper into the update, Samsung is bringing major changes to widgets. In one UI 8.5, widgets become live layers. More interactive versions of the old widgets that can expand, shrink, or transform depending on what they display. For example, the music widget grows horizontally when you adjust the volume, the weather widget displays animated clouds and sun effects on your home screen, and the calendar widget automatically highlights your next event with a glowing outline. Samsung is also revamping the lock screen in an unexpected way. The lock screen now includes a motion awareness layer that detects subtle tilt, causing certain elements like the clock and lock indicator to shift slightly in 3D space, giving the lock screen a premium floating effect similar to the wallpapers seen on Samsung's marketing devices. But the biggest surprise might be the new One UI 8.5 notification system. Notifications now stack in clusters that intelligently reorganize themselves, with AI-generated descriptors that summarize long alerts into clean, readable one-liners. Instead of long messages flooding your panel, One UI 8.5 compresses them into compact bubbles you can expand with a single tap. Samsung's internal testing logs also reveal major improvements in battery optimization. A new cycle saver engine tracks your charging patterns, prevents unnecessary background wake ups, and adjusts CPU activity during idle periods, extending battery life by up to 20% on some mid range devices, according to test results. Meanwhile, the camera app is receiving one of its largest mid cycle UI updates ever, with new color, protected icons, improved consistency in shutter animations, and an AI supported zoom preview that lets you see the final zoom shot with reduced jitter. Samsung is also making a groundbreaking change in the way Galaxy AI integrates with One UI. Instead of using separate apps, One UI 8.5 merges several AI abilities directly into the system. The smart clipboard now predicts what you might pace next. Image Clipper recognizes objects more accurately, and Meeting Assist has now expanded into a full productivity suite that can analyze long audio notes and convert them into structured lists with headers, timestamps, and action points. On top of this, Samsung is experimenting with Ambient Tasks, an AI system that detects when you're driving, exercising, or studying and automatically adjusts notifications, sound profiles, and brightness to match your environment without you having to touch anything. The software also includes a brand, new privacy dashboard that makes your sensor usage history easier to understand. It shows which apps accessed your camera, microphone, or location in the last 24 hours, and adds a new, live access map that displays what your phone is doing in real time. One UI 8.5 also expands device ecosystem support. Galaxy Buds will gain faster pairing animations, Galaxy Tabs will get shared memory features that let you copy large files across devices instantly, and Samsung Watches will benefit from smoother transitions when switching between tiles. Now let's talk about the rollout, because this is where things get extremely interesting. Samsung's internal firmware numbering shows that One UI 8.5 builds are already in the mid-testing stage, which typically happens only 4-6 to six weeks before a beta rollout. Combine that with the increased build frequency, and we can confidently estimate that the One UI 8.5 beta will open publicly between December 5 and December 15, likely starting with Korea, then expanding to Germany, India the US and the UK in the second wave. 
A stable release is expected to follow very closely with the Galaxy S26 series, but here's the twist, since the S26 launch might be delayed. Samsung is rumored to release the One UI 8.5 stable build ahead of the hardware to keep the schedule consistent. If that happens, we could see a February stable rollout for the S25 series, with Galaxy Z Fold and Flip devices receiving the update before April. The entire development feels like Samsung is preparing for something bigger, possibly the next evolution of Galaxy AI that will debut with the S26 Linup and One UI 8.5 is the foundation they need before introducing One UI 9.0 next year. No matter which device you use, whether it's a flagship or an A-series phone, One UI 8.5 promises faster animations, smoother performance, deeper AI integration, and a cleaner, more polished interface that feels smarter and more responsive than anything Samsung has delivered before. And as always, Tech Insights will continue monitoring every leak, every hidden feature, and every new beta update to ensure you stay ahead of the tech world.